Hey guys, how's it going? Here's something I have been wanting to do for a very long time. Here I have a 2024 Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG. It's got a gray exterior. It's very classic. It's got this front gate, almost in like a brushed silver. It's got your Mercedes-Benz right there in the turn signal, exterior lighting. Does get a black line that goes around right there around the perimeter. Really like this design, really. It's got like lots of lines, and that's what I personally really like. Here's your fenders, they're colored. It's got your 22 inch wheels, very stylish. It's an AMG V8, the bi turbo. It's also got your exhaust right here. So it's got a small little running board right there. It's very classic looking. And this also, this design right here, it's almost designed like rain gutters, as you can see. There's the AMG badge right here. It's also got your spare tire with some chrome right here. It's also got your um, brushed chrome right there. Oh. I'm here at Mercedes-Benz of Greenway or I'm sorry, Greenway Mercedes-Benz located in Houston, Texas. And they allow me to make this video today. And I believe these are your headlight washers right here. That's what I'm thinking. Let's go and check it out. Oh, also if you don't notice, it says G right here on the door. It's a gray exterior. You get this all black leather interior. You have AMG labeling on the seats. I've always wanted to do a video on one of these. These are nice. Steering wheel is suede. It is wrapped in suede right here. It is leather wrapped by the stitching in here. You also get the um, <clears throat> the uh, carbon fiber right here on the top and the bottom. You get a leather insertion right here. There's the uh, carbon fiber right here on the bottom with the AMG labeling. You also have the brush um, silver accenting right here. These are your controls for the steering wheel. You also have your voice commands, your telephone. You also have your volume controls, your home and back. You also have your other controls, including your cruise control right here. Oh. Gotta close the door all the way. This is your navigation screen right here. Engine start and stop button. Here's your style for the interior. You do have this dark brushed silver accent that goes right here. These are your four wheel drive controls. These are your air vents, airplane styled vents, as you can see. You also have your climate control. You have your dual temperatures. You also have your dual zones, your circulation. You have your off, automatic, your max, your rear AC, and then you also have your controls for the display up above. Right over here, you have your analog clock, navigation, radio media, telephone, your vehicle. These are your hazards. I think the vehicle's power is kind of drained. You do get a place to put the key fob. You also have two sets of cup holders. You also get that carbon fiber accenting, your dynamic controls, all your settings, traction control on and off. You also have your volume control. I don't know why it's not really working. Um, right over here, you have all your other controls, including your cameras, low range. You also have your volume right here. Like I said, you also have the silver brushed accent that goes right here. You also have a little storage with two USBs and I believe that's an SD card input. They are very nice and soft to the touch. Auto dimming rear view mirror. You also have your garage home link underneath. You have your interior lights, um, but they, yeah, I think the vehicle's power is drained. You also have your sunroof controls right here. You also have your in map lights, interior lighting controls, Mercedes me SOS. Yeah, can't really do a tour of the exterior. Here you have your lane keeping assist, parking assist on and off. Yeah, um, this is more of that brush accenting right here. Um, there's your speaker up above. Um, the headliner is a uh, Alcantara suede material. The pillars are plastic. Very cool, it's very luxurious. Let's go and pop the hood. 
got your power seats, AMG door plates. Gotta be careful, there's a bow right there and there's your Mercedes-Benz label right here. Under the hood of this G63 is the four liter bi-turbo V8. It's handcrafted by Demir Kurt. Kerlick, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. There we go. It's very nice. There's your windshield. Those are your turn signals. They are LED as you can see. You do have your LED headlights. Very cool. And those are your other exhausts right there. They do say AMG on the top right there. Yeah, it's very cool. Really like the chrome right here. Really gives it an elegant look. You have your rear license plate um, right there. Trailer towing hitch. Wonder where your backup camera will go. You do get LED tail lights with LED backup lights. The thing is, um, you do get your soft touch materials right here. You get diamond stitching right here. Even soft touch right here. You have power windows, power mirrors. You also have um, wherever your power locks are. Power locks are right here, heated function seats. These are your power adjustments on the seats with power recline and power height adjustment. Soft touch storage. The interior though is plastic. Here's your speaker. And like I mentioned, dashboard's kind of tiny though. It is a soft touch, even right here in the back. Very cool. I've always wanted to do one of these. This is actually a first for me. I've really, you have your paddle shifters for down and up shift. There's your shifter right here and as well as your wiper controls. It does have more of that carbon fiber with the brushed silver right here and it even blends into the handle. You get more of that brushed silver right here in the back of the handle. Got to kind of give the door a little force because they're not really going to close. Like as you can see, if you do like this, they're not really gonna close all the way. <clears throat> Here's the back. Everything does follow through in the rear. Heated seats. You also have a power window control. This is your rear seat. You also have a little tether right here that you pull. Flips up the bottom cushion. And if you wanna fold down the seat, you're gonna have to All right, there we go. You have to put the headrest down and then you pull this. It is a two-hand job, really. Just like that. You also have the rear door plates. Sitting back here is pretty comfortable. The, the seats are pretty high up. Um, rear seat mat pockets, air vents, rear climate control. Um, you have a little storage, little five volt outlet, and you do also have a 12 volt power outlet. Little storage. Armrest with two sets of cup holders, and you also get a a pass through right here. Very nice. You do get the soft Alcantara headliner that does pass down to all the other pillars. Your interior lighting and there's your um, hook right there. I don't know what that really does. large swinging hatch there's your handle it is plastic right here but you do get the diamond quilt leather stitching right here with carpeting a lighting for both sides you also have a cargo cover 
that you can't attach and detach. You just do like that. You just kind of push it down a little bit. You also have a 115 volt outlet. Not on that side. You also have all the books, little storage. You also have a small little light up above. Let me go down to the other side. There's a pole blocking. I really love the wheel design. They even say AMG right there. Let's have little tether hooks right here. I believe I believe you can just fold down the seats. Um, no, you cannot. Um, you gotta actually put the bo um, bottom cushion up. You can see you get two speakers in the back. Air vent. Same power adjustments on the passenger seat, including the heated and cooled function. You also get the three person memory seat setting. There's your glove box. Get a soft touch up above. Beautiful. Amazing car. Well guys, that concludes the tour on the 2024 Mercedes-Benz G63. If you've enjoyed this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more, and thank you for watching.